So as she proceeds to use her crochet needle, I guess to show me that she knew how to ventilate, I noticed something. Cause at first I was like, well, let me see how this works out because that actually might work. Hey, it's Marquetta Breslin and I'm back with another video. So in this video, I'm going to address the difference between a crochet needle and a ventilating needle. Now, a ventilating needle, or let me say that the other way around, a crochet needle, AKA latch hook needle, is not a ventilating needle. Let me explain. Actually, let me share a story with you. So a couple years ago, this was probably about a year and a half, two years ago, I was having a uh, one of my two day lace wig mastery training seminars. This particular seminar, I had a lady come in who was very excited for the class. It was an older lady. And she says to me, um, I've, I've, been no, I've been ventilating for 20 years. And my first thought was, why are you here then? But then I also went to, well, there's nothing wrong with just getting education, like going for further education. I do that all the time, go back to the fundamentals. So I thought nothing of it. So we get into the portion of the seminar where we're about to start doing hands-on. And instead of pulling out the needle that I provided in the toolkit, she pulls out not a latch hook, she pulls out a tiny crochet needle. So I went, ah, okay, that's what she thinks is the ventilating needle. So as she proceeds to use her crochet needle, I guess to show me that she knew how to ventilate, I noticed something. Cause at first I was like, well, let me see how this works out because that actually might work, but it doesn't. And the reason why is because <clears throat> your ventilating needle, whether you use an Asian needle or um, uh, a German needle, German needles are super long and they have more of an angle. Um, your Asian needles are very, very short and they have more of a hook. But at the end of that hook is a barb. I don't have a crochet needle with me now to show you, but the barb is that little, it's that little thing that goes like this, that sticks off on the end that is designed to catch the yarn. In this case, the barb on the end of the ventilating needle is designed to catch the hair. The reason why you cannot use a tiny crochet needle to ventilate hair is because it's too big. Yes, it might be super small, but it's not gonna be this small. It is not going to work. You're going to snag that lace. Imagine trying to put something like this, because I've seen it done, through some opera lace or through, you might be able to get it through opera lace, but imagine getting this through film lace or HD lace. You're gonna tear it up. Same thing goes for the small crochet needles. Now I don't have one with me and obviously I couldn't go to the craft store to get one because uh, we're locked down right now. So I couldn't go and get one to show you but I'll find a screenshot or a picture of one from somewhere and I'll put it up somewhere in this video so that you can see the difference. It is not designed that way. Now, let me tell you about ventilating needles and why you need to be using a ventilating needle to make your lace wigs. Number one, your ventilating needle comes in, there's three different types, actually there's four. You have your skin needles. Those needles look just like Asian needles, but they're designed to uh, go into almost like a thin skin type of material. I almost never use those because I don't work with that type of material a lot. Then you have your regular Asian needles. Now the skin needles and the Asian needles look identical to each other and to be totally transparent and honest with you. I don't know what the real difference is between the two, but I know that there are two different ones. I don't use them, like I said, I use these Asian needles, okay? Now the Asian needles are short and they have more of a hook, okay? Then you have your German needles. Your German needles are longer, they have a flat end and they have a distinct angle. And then you have the in-between. So it's long like a German needle, but it doesn't have that angle, but it has more of a slight hook to it. 
those are amazing as well. Now, all of these ventilating needles have on the end of them, like I said earlier, a barb. That barb is designed to hold the hair in place while you ventilate. Okay, now, your ventilating needles come in different sizes. Each size is called an oct, O-C-T. Your oct of the needle tells you how many hairs that needle is designed to pick up. So if you have a, what is this? A three oct needle, this is designed to pick up three to four, two to three hairs. This is not three to four. This is designed to pick up three to four hairs. So sometimes when you're purchasing needles, this is actually a size, a, a distinct size three. It doesn't say two, three, or three, four. It just says three. Sometimes when you're purchasing needles, depending on where you're purchasing from, the sizes will range and they'll go like this. A zero one, a one two, a three four, five six, so on and so on. They don't go up too, too high. All right, so the, the bigger the number, the more hairs that needle is designed to pick up. All right, so remember that. That's why you should be using, these needles are designed to, to go in and out of that lace, whether you're working with HD lace, film, film lace, or a base lace, opera lace, whatever you're designed to work with, there are specific ventilating needles that are designed to be used with specific types of lace. Not a crochet needle and not a latch hook needle, all right? So make sure you're buying the proper materials. The next question a lot of people ask me is, where do I get them from? This particular one that I have is purchased from my favorite place, at Clier Bossy. I do not get a commission or kickback from uh, recommending them. I just love their, their, I love their products. Uh, Mr. Bossy is a very nice man, and he has created some amazing materials and tools for wig makers. So um, you can purchase your needles from there. This is a bamboo needle with the needle holder attached. So I have these in all different sizes and I have the shorter ones as well. Um, I like these because I don't have to figure out what, which, which size I'm using. It's already stamped on here and the needle is stuck into the bamboo holder, all right? You can um, purchase from Fishbach Miller. You can purchase from the wig department. You can purchase from Jagazi Naturals and you can purchase from Banbury Pastiche. I don't get a commission. His and Her Hair Goods Company also has them. I do not get a commission from offering, uh, from for suggesting anything from any of these companies. I think that you can also buy them on um, Amazon. The company I recommend is GEX. They actually have the, so, cause some people's, some people's, some companies, <laughs> will sell you, will say something is a ventilating needle. That's the problem. They'll sell you a ventilating needle, but when you get it, it's a tiny crochet hook. So don't be duped by that. Be very, very, very careful who you buy from. I always suggest to buy from a reputable company that sells wig making tools. All right, so that is the difference between the crochet hook, the latch hook, I almost lost my train of thought, and the ventilating needle. And this is why you should always use a ventilating needle for making lace wigs. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll talk to you soon.